YouTube, I'm here with a reveal of my first Ombrun item. It is uh, the key pouch in the color Rose Ballerine. Um, I'm so excited, it's my first Ombrun item. Let's see, I will, uh, I'll show you my receipt so you can get the item code number. It is M61247. It cost $440, and since I ordered it directly from a store, I had to pay $15 in shipping. Um, there was sort of drama with the essay that I normally work with. Um, she, I ordered it through her. I paid through it, paid for it with her. Um, and then a week later, she said, "Oh, they're all gone. We're not getting any more. That's it." So I got a refund, and I was sort of bummed. But um, a Instagrammer and YouTuber, to be fetching too, told me she's like, "Hey, there might be one at um, Mall at Millennia in." Orlando. So I called and they had one and I ordered it and it came in a few days and it's beautiful. Um, I'm not sure of the exact dimensions. I think it's roughly a five by inches long and three inches high, but do not quote me on that. It's best to get like the exact number from um, the Louis Vuitton website. So I will open it so you can see the inside. So it says uh, Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France, which is nice. It's always nice to have an item made in France. Um, the little sort of female button closure says Louis Vuitton. And here is the inside. This is the sort of the key hook that you attach your keys to. I probably will not be using this to attach my keys. Um, I just don't want sort of, you know, like the darkish tarnish that comes from your keys after you've been using them a while. I don't want that any of that to like come off on the inside of here or even on the outside. So um, I won't be using keys. It'll just be for cash and cards. So that's what I'll be using it for. Um, the back has this really pretty zipper that has like this great stitch detailing on it. I don't know if I can show it to you, but... I'm losing my light. We're about to get storms here. Um, but it has Louis Vuitton sort of engraved on the zipper pull. And this says Louis Vuitton on this little grommet. And there's this nice stitching here and on both sides. And I'm assuming that this is like one continuous piece of leather because the monogram logo is upside on this portion. And then if you flip it over, it's sort of upside down, but I'm assuming it's one piece of leather, one continuous piece of leather. Um, so the zipper, just open this, such. this is the back zipper and the inside. It's really soft on the inside. It's really like a great feeling. I don't know what, I'm assuming it's leather. And here's the textile card, uh, outside, oh, outside and inside calf leather. So that answers the question is. Um, so yeah, I really love it. I highly recommend that if you want a rose ballerine item that you order it. And if you've been told by an essay, hey, we're not getting any more of those or I can't find it and you're sort of out of luck, call again, see somebody else. I'm sure somebody can find something for you somewhere. I know that's probably terrible advice, but I found that um, with Louis Vuitton customer service, Sometimes you can get six different answers with six, six different essays. So I never take no as a no. <laughs> with regards to Louis Vuitton, that is. Um, so yeah, this is so pretty. This is the natural color. I mean, this is natural light. I don't have any um, light, any artificial lights on. The window um, is to my right. So I'm getting natural light from the right. Here's sort of, if I show you from the other side, that's like the color appearance. It's hard to... I think this is correctly picking up the color, but the color is sort of hard to describe. Um, it's a pale pink, and you can definitely tell it's pink. I know that there are other colors in the LV family that you're not really sure what the color is, um, but yeah, this is definitely like a pale pink. One thing that I did not realize until I actually per received the item in my hands was that it has this dark glazing on the side. And I was sort of thrown off by that only because I hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen it on Instagram. I hadn't seen any, it on YouTube. And it doesn't show it on the website. So you just sort of see this and you see this, but you don't see the glazing. I'm okay with it. Um, I wish I had just known that in advance, but 
I'm fine with it. I think that if the glazing was actually light, like if it was a pink glaze or something like that, I think that it would show wear a lot more. Um, and this is probably the more practical um, finishing treatment. Um, so yeah, I love this. Uh, I'm really excited to start using it. I took it with me a few days ago, um, but didn't wasn't sure if I wanted to use cash or my cards or put my business cards in it, but I will definitely figure out a use. I love it. It might replace a few of my clays that I use. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.